Hey everybody, welcome to the episode Universe Mode. That is literally the most bent championship I've ever seen. Oh my god, those are the last cheers I think I've ever heard. Look at this. Rip Sammy Z. You know, he's gonna be going up against, you know, another person that was considered an underdog in this business, and, you know, I'm gonna find out who that is in just a second, but my god, look at that title. Of course, he is part of D Generation S, him and Shawn Michaels. Sami Zayn could win this match. Could also be, um, well, Daniel Bryan. Now, some say that Sami Zayn is the new Daniel Bryan. But honestly, in my opinion, there's only one Daniel Bryan. And, you know, going to be completely honest, everybody's forgotten about Daniel Bryan. But I have not forgotten about Daniel Bryan. I feel bad that he had to retire from injury. It strikes me painfully on the inside. Anyway, the Royal Rumble is going to be coming around shortly. And, well... What better way to have the Royal Rumble pay-per-view? I mean, there is no better way. Now, I'm announcing the match right now. Edward will be facing Daniel Bryan for the United States Championship. That is going to be a very great match. And I'm just going to say this now. Daniel Bryan has literally had this entire, the whole entire series. Same with Kevin Owens. He, I mean, you know, he he had it, he, and it's the same with Daniel Bryan. He had an, another attire when he started the series, but he didn't have it for that long, and then he's had this one forever. Anyway, we got Sami Zayn versus Daniel Bryan, the match that will tell the story of the future to really anybody. Anyway, um, the next match was voted the opponent for Jeff Hardy. You'll figure it out once you see the loading screen. So, Randomizer says... Sami Zayn. Oh, man. Sami Zayn versus Daniel Bryan, and I am Sami Zayn. This is a dream match. We know it can get technical. These two are really technical wrestlers. And Brian is going down, and it's surprisingly fast. What I don't like what's happening to Sami Zayn right now in WWE is that he's being misused. Which is exactly what I figured would happen. And I don't want it to happen to Finn Balor. But, you know, Vince McMahon is just saying, hey, you know, we really want to get that underdog feeling in so, by, by the looks of it, Sami Zayn is going to be the new Daniel Bryan. That's what WWE is building him up to be. Which, um, you know, it, it wouldn't surprise me if that's what they did. No, I mean, it, there's, there's that feel to it. It's like, okay... Crowd is racking. So differently. Like I swear, I don't I don't know if you guys can tell. But if if you hear it, the crowd is acting very different. I heard it during Sami Zayn's entrance. I'm hearing it during this whole entire match. They're just different. 
Sorry, Brian. Hope I didn't give you a concussion because I kind of say you hold your head. I do need to get Brian a new attire, and that will hopefully come at the Royal Rumble, where he's going to face Edward for the United States Championship. The title I brought in only to make somebody look strong. That was not intended to be Edward. I don't remember who I was in that match. I don't really remember who's in that match between. Well, there's somebody. Um, there's four people in that match. Where who I remember is Edward, John Cena, and Sheamus. And there's somebody else. I don't remember who I was. Oh yeah, I think The Rock was in there. And as for the 4th of July, you know, I just was like, okay, I, I, I should have the United States Championship match. You know, one week later. Oh man, we're doing pretty well. In universe mode, it's already, it's been one week a long time ago. But in actual real life, he won the championship one week ago. There we go. Oh. Gonna plan some strategic stuff out here. Sami Zayn and Shawn Michaels are gonna be in, um, makes they're having their first title defense very soon. What? I'm sorry I had to mess up the Yes Champ, but. I was not letting you get any leverage. And you know, I, I was very much concerned with making these two a tag team. Like, I've, I've thought about it before, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna call it under, maybe underdogs, I don't know. Maybe I'll include underdog on the team. Wow. Oh. This is starting not to go well. I'm getting up. Oh. Put him in this corner. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, man. He just reversed it. Man, you gotta be kidding me. Clear rope break. I don't even know why I attempted that. No, no, no. And then a German suplex by Daniel Bryan. Is Daniel Bryan going to take me to Suplex City? Oh. Clocked him right in the face. That's for his big reversal. I mean, you know, I got a small time reversal, but... Oh, man. I don't know what that was. Appeared to be some kind of DDT. Up him. Crap. Is that what I want to do? I want to do my signature. It's not letting me. I'm gonna punch in the face for good measure. Oh, another one. Another one. Another one. Oh. I don't even know what that move is. I don't know as I rapidly punch Daniel Bryan in the face. And if I if I don't use my signature, then I'm gonna be doomed. Blue thunder bomb. Oh. Come on, I gotta get that huluva kick. When's the last time he ever used his submission finisher? Like I've never seen him use it. There you go. Check the back time. Man, if he has resiliency. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be a good ball game. Well, Sami Zayn won. 
gotta be happy with the results. I guess, I mean, you know. I, I, I would have liked if I would have lost as well. I mean, you know, I didn't really care what the end result may have been in that match. Pretty good match overall. Very, very happy for Sami Zayn. I feel like this is going to progress him in his career. And, you know, make him look like a strong um, NXT Tag Team Champion. You know, all I really got to do is make Shawn Michaels you know, look, look strong. Because, really, he's not. And we're going to move on to the next match. I already have every single match for the next pay-per-view planned out. Except, of course, the Intercontinental Championship match between Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy. You guys voted. We got Jeff Hardy versus Matt Hardy, which, again, did not surprise me. Um, you know, we got three other votes of people. So we got um, six votes in total. Um, six people did not vote. One person said John Cena or Matt Hardy. And somebody said Rob Van Dam, and then somebody said Kevin Owens. To be honest, those are all very, very good competitors. And I'm definitely sure nobody would want to see John Cena in this title picture. Because first of all, he was in the WWE World Heavyweight Championship title picture. Then he was about to get a, a, a title that I literally just put in. So he could have been the United States Champion. Nobody would have wanted to see him being put into the Intercontinental Championship um, shot. So we got Jeff Hardy versus Matt Hardy. Whoever wins this will face Stardust at TLC. And that is a pretty big match. Being his own the Intercontinental Championship, um, you know, not at the Royal Rumble, but that Elimination Chamber will be in an Elimination Chamber match. And whoever wins that will be Intercontinental Champion. Which I do happen to find pretty interesting. Again, I have a new champion right there. And then... I mean, come on. It does make for you know, something pretty interesting. Now, I don't know when this match is going to load. But when it does, that'd be awesome. There you go. I believe this is Jeff. Maybe not. Yeah. I have to edit him to be a face because he's not. So I have a Jeff Hardy um TNA attire and I have a Matt Hardy WWE attire. Nobody and I'm I'm actually speaking the truth here. Nobody has made a broken ha Matt Hardy on PS4 Community Creations. I mean, well, at least at least the top the top 17 creations are not are not broken Matt Hardy, which surprised me. I figured, you know, broken Matt Hardy would be at the top. Oh my God, he has edges theme. Oh, that's that's just something else. Anyway, when you hear, they're going to have their appropriate themes. They're both going to have their WWE themes, of course, because, you know, that's what game this is, and, yeah. Now, this should be a very interesting match. I mean, you know, these two can definitely work in the wrestling business, no matter if they're with each other or against each other. That's what I like. That's what I like to see. Like it's, you know, it's that kind of stuff that really just gets somebody, you know, into the wrestling business. You know, these two are very, very good workers. Sadly, um, both dropped by WWE because WWE did not realize the potential that they had. You know, once they're in TNA for just one year, you could always realize they were really better than anybody else out there at the time and you know 
I kind of think they still are. But, you know, there are some of those in, um, independent, you know, wrestlers that are much better than some of the talent WWE currently has. So, anyway, I got my randomizer. We're, we're going to be Matt Hardy or we're going to be Jeff Hardy. I've previous new years in universe mode when I did it myself. I had them as a tag team. They were tag team champions. I never had them fight each other. So, this is going to be something. This is going to be something, and, you know, we're going to see, you know, where this is going to go. Okay. I'm the newcomer, Matt Hardy. This should be exciting, although this might be very difficult. Jeff Hardy's overall is, for some reason, 100. Matt Hardy's is 86. <laughs> so, um, me winning this match, I mean, I don't know. You know, Jeff Hardy could potentially be facing Stardust. And I might have to get a new Jeff Hardy. Just because. I kind of want a WWE one so I can, like, match this Matt Hardy. But, you know, if I can't, then whatever. I don't know if I should make him a tag team. I might do that for, um, season two. I might make them a tag team. But, you know, right now, they're going to have a match to see who's going to go into TLC. And it's going to be in your kind of championship match. I forget who Jeff Hardy beat to become number one contender. But it was somebody. He beat somebody and then it took him into this number one contender match. And again, Matt Hardy was voted. Matt Hardy had three votes. And John Cena, Kevin Owens, and Rob Van Dam had had one vote. This might be a lay drop if I'm correct. Nope, it's a splash. My god, he turned around in mid-air and delivered a splash. Oh my god. That, you know, that is a real good job for Matt Hardy right there. Jeff Hardy kind of, uh, kind of getting beat down here, which, um, really amazes me. No, 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 oh man. Oh, right to the face. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Jeff Hardy versus Matt Hardy. The, if anybody saw Final Deletion, I want to know your opinions on it. Um, I was thinking of making a video where I react to Final Deletion. I might if you guys want to see it. But it's not going to be on this channel. It'll be on Etch and Stars. Um. I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to be having a new Godzilla movie on Etch and Stars very, very soon. Oh, God. Oh, man. Should be very interesting. I'm excited for it. No, 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 no. I was so close to my signature, and now he just goes for a cover. What? That's kind of pointless. Oh man! Check my special moves: twist of fate, twist of fate, side effect, diving wave drop. This twist of fate is now called twist of hate. If you didn't know. If you didn't know, you do now, now. Well, come on. How's Jeff Hardy still in this match? How do I have barely any damage? How is anything happening that is currently happening? You know, that, that would definitely be the question. I mean, you know, my god, I've been going at it for a while. Oh. I'm gonna go top rope once again. Oh, that wasn't the best idea. Oh, God, no. Oh, man. Matt Hardy going down. No. Oh, Jeff is definitely getting me. Remember, he had 100 overall. I told you. The man was coming. Oh. The man was coming and boarded. He come way too early. 
Oh yeah, and also he'll be in the Intercontinental Championship match if he wins by countout. Any way he wins, it doesn't matter. Think about doing Twist of Fate, maybe he'll just get counted out and that might be it. Crap. And now I have my finisher. I go and punch him right up in the and right up in his face. I just punch him. Come on, twist the feet, twist the feet. Come on, twist the feet. There you go. Twist the feet. There you go. Is this gonna be it? Yes, it is, Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy is going to be going to face Stardust at TLC. I am excited for this. It's going to be a very, very great match between two very, very great superstars. Stardust, Matt Hardy. Should be very, very interesting. I want to see this. And, you know, you guys you guys voted in Matt Hardy. Like, yo, we want Matt Hardy. Well, now Matt Hardy is going to be going to TLC to face Stardust. Will he become Intercontinental Champion? That would be very, very interesting and, you know, probably highly entertaining. You just see Matt Hardy's first match, and then his second match, he wins the championship. You know, that's a, it's a pretty big deal. And, you know, it might mean a lot for this universe mode. Stardust is a two-time inter Intercontinental Champion. Um, I believe beating Seth Rollins both times. Actually, second time he beat Kane, but, you know, he beat very good superstars to get where he is. And, you know, now he has Matt Hardy. So thanks for watching.